Hypertension affects over 1 billion people worldwide and is a major risk factor for cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. The risk of cardiovascular death increases with rising blood pressure. Every 20 millimeter rise in systolic blood pressure doubles the risk of cardiovascular death. Many patients with hypertension do not achieve their target blood pressure even with combination drug therapy. Today, up to 12.8% of hypertensive patients are on combination drug therapy that is not adequately lowering their blood pressure. The renal sympathetic nerves are major contributors to the pathophysiology of hypertension. Patients with hypertension often have increased afferent and efferent sympathetic activity with the kidneys, evidenced by spillover of renal norepinephrine into the circulatory system and by increased firing rate of renal sympathetic nerves. Increased renal sympathetic nerve activity increases blood pressure by reducing renal excretory function. Sympathetic nerve activity is transmitted to the kidneys through the renal sympathetic nerves, which extend from the aorta into both the left and right renal arteries and travel within the adventitia. The understanding that high renal sympathetic nerve activity is an important contributor to hypertension led to the concept that procedure-induced disruption of renal sympathetic nerves may result in blood pressure control. In fact, catheter-based renal denervation has been demonstrated to effectively lower systolic and diastolic blood pressure in patients with resistant hypertension. Following is a demonstration of the enlightened renal denervation system. A guiding catheter is advanced and engages the ostium of the renal artery. The multi-electrode ablation catheter with electrode basket is inserted through the guiding catheter. The electrode basket is advanced into the artery and positioned at a point slightly proximal to the renal artery bifurcation. Using the handle, the basket is expanded, causing the electrodes to make contact with the artery walls. The start button is pressed on the generator, which begins the ablation process. Each electrode in the basket is activated for 90 seconds. One to four electrodes can be activated during one ablation set if desired. The electrodes are activated in sequence, each one creating a transmural lesion that disrupts nerves that cross that lesion. Nerve impulses traveling to the kidneys are interrupted by these lesions, reducing sympathetic nerve activity between the kidney and the brain. The basket is collapsed. Next, the basket is pulled back approximately one centimeter to ensure that the lesions are not overlapping, rotated 45 degrees, and re-expanded. A second set of ablations is performed with the electrodes activating in sequence for 90 seconds each. Here you can see the predictable pattern of lesions that was induced by the electrodes. The basket is collapsed and withdrawn into the guiding catheter. The guiding catheter is withdrawn and repositioned at the ostium of the contralateral renal artery. The ablation process is repeated. To conclude the procedure, the catheters are withdrawn from the body. In summary, the enlightened multi-electrode renal denervation system enables efficiencies in renal denervation by reducing the number of catheter manipulations needed to disrupt the sympathetic nerve network. The enlightened renal denervation system is the first multi-electrode ablation technology to deliver a predetermined ablation set to the renal artery in a single catheter positioning for consistency and ease of use. Thank you.